good evening friends on the 14th of april uh, this coming thursday uh, we'll go live with the focused agarbatti uh, poffari uh, course and uh, prashant will share the details with all of you i solicit support from one and all of you we'll make it more and more we'll try my best to make it more and more interesting and interactive thank you continuing our journey discovering poffari raw materials the first session we dis we discussed four raw materials the alexolite edion isoi super and dihydromarcinol galaxolide i said is a polycyclic musk i want to speak about one more specialty musk ingredient ethylene brasilate before going to ethylene brasilate i would like to just touch upon more details about musk as a family of perfumery ingredients as a family as a olfactory family in modern perfumery musk tincture is a natural raw material of animal origin obtained from the musk glands of the male musk deer it involves killing of the male musk deer and due to this in modern times the use of musk tincture is prohibited in modern perfumery musk tincture is a very powerful perfumery natural raw material it's a perfume by itself the fixative property the persistency achievable with musk tincture is impossible to achieve with any other known musk ingredient in modern perfumery musk tincture is no more available but synthetic organic chemistry has made possible has made available four classes of synthetic musk the first one is nitro musk within nitro musk we have musk ambrek musk xylol musk ketone musk tibetine and musk moskin the classic nitro musk in modern perfumery due to regulatory considerations except musk ketone all the other nitro musk today are prohibited for use in perfumery musk ketone is restricted you can use but in restricted quantities in limited number of applications so no musk tincture no nitro musk but the story must go on so we come to polycyclic musk galaxolide which we discussed in the previous session tonalide phantolide thraseolide and silistolide these are the classic polycyclic musk available to modern perfumery polycyclic musk again restricted not prohibited when i say prohibited it can't use is banned when i say restricted in it is restricted by regulatory considerations in a certain application toilet soap so much percentage is allowed in a detergent fabric care so much percentage in home care agarbatti so much percentage is allowed restricted you cannot use the way you want you can use up to the level permissible by regulatory considerations so poly nitro musk polycyclic musk the third is macrocyclic musk macrocyclic musk we have ethylene brasilate also called musk tea exaltolide ambrytolide muscone exaltone and musk r1 
these are the classic macrocyclic musk available in modern perfumery what is about macrocyclic musk macrocyclic musk contain a lactone ring chemically with more than 12 members the rings are more than 12 to 15 members so these are macrocyclic musk we will be discussing in detail ethylene brasilate also called musk tea tea as in takasabo and then the fourth class in the musk family is ali cyclic musk two raw materials come to mind helvetolite and romandolide so if you say musk nitro musk not possible to use so we are left with polycyclic musk macrocyclic musk and ali cyclic musk we discussed in detail galaxolite which is a classic the first of the polycyclic musk available to modern perfumery today we'll see in detail ethylene brasilate also called musk tea ethylene brasilate the macrocyclic musk the classical macrocyclic musk was first identified somewhere in the 1920s it is purely a product of synthetic organic chemistry macrocyclic musk it is not found in nature is ambret ambret as in musk ambret which is a nitro musk so chemistry synthetic organic chemistry has been able to capture the facet the aspect of musk ambret in ethylene brasilate which is ambret the ambret oily ambret odor is captured in ethylene brasilate when it's well ethylene brasilate the first whiff is oily and ambret followed by a sweet warm or a warm sweet musky character there is a very evident powdery vanilla aspect in ethylene brasilate so the main all factors oily ambret warm sweet musky powdery and vanilla this is the highlight of ethylene brasilate highly tenacious long lasting up to 200 hours on a blotter if you if you make a 10% dilution of ethylene brasilate in the alcohol dip the blotter and leave it as a swelling today it will be on the blotter swelling of the blotter for 200 hours this is the exceptional tenacity of ethylene brasilate ethylene brasilate is a macrocyclic musk combined beautifully with galaxolite polycyclic musk a mix of galaxolite and ethylene brasilate adds complexity to the musk facet in the composition galaxolite its own unique musk olfactor and ethylene brasilate its own unique warm musky ambret oily nuances musky nuances in the composition ethylene brasilate is especially recommended in orientals orientals oriental udi oriental fujer oriental spicy oriental animalic oriental agarwood these are the orientals wherein it is preferred advisable to use ethylene brasilate ethylene brasilate also performs very well 
in heavy floral compositions floral orientals floriental again see the commonality orientals and floral orientals heavy florals heavy florals and orientals ethylene brasilate performs very well ethylene brasilate is a macrocyclic musk the the contrasting beauty of ethylene brasilate it combines very extremely well with red fruits red fruits as in strawberry raspberry red plum red pear red apple and red cherries so if you have a fruity floral fruity composition and the fruity is a red fruit with florals recommended to use ethylene brasilate ethylene brasilate is so versatile versatility contrast harmonizes very well with red fruits adds depth to orientals and also recommended to use in heavy floral floral oriental flory floriental compositions ethylene brasilate the macrocyclic musk is a versatile raw material can be used in single florals and it can be used in animalic leathery styles also going to the other extreme the light floral we can use ethylene brasilate going to the other extreme animalic leathery very heavy we can use ethylene brasilate this is the beauty of ethylene brasilate highly tenacious long lasting characteristic embret oily warm musky sweet and a contrasting raw material harmonizes fruity in the top with florals light florals heavy florals orientals animalic leathery things like this so this is the beauty of ethylene brasilate recommended to use ethylene brasilate in combination with galaxolite polycyclic musk and macrocyclic musk within polycyclic musk if you want you can use a combination of galaxolite and tonalite and within macrocyclic musk you can use a combination of ethylene brasilate exaltolite muscone abadolite things like this and also a touch of alicyclic musk as in helvetolite or romandolite this is to capture the essence of musk tincture which is a beautiful raw material no more available to modern perfumery it's a perfume by itself no single musk specialty be it a polycyclic musk be it a macrocyclic musk or be it alicyclic musk can capture 100% the facet of musk tincture musk tincture to be able to recreate the magic of musk tincture is very important it's recommended it's advisable to use a combination of polycyclic musk macrocyclic musk and alicyclic musk more about the musk at a later stage now i go on to the next raw material 